Last year, I did an overnighter, and I only brought a single MRE with me to eat, the infamous First Strike ration. And as I used it, I kept on being amazed at how much of that stuff was literally off the shelf. I even said I could probably make one myself, and a few of you were interested in how, so I decided to give it a go. I decided to make my own first bike ration, a 24-hour meal kit for a cycling tour overnighter. Okay, first of all, I had to set up some ground rules, because this had to be fairly close to the actual First Strike ration. All the food in it had to require no tools and no prep to eat, so no heater units, no pots and pans, no utensils. Everything in it had to fit in the same bag I used for the first time, which is about the size of a shoebox, maybe a little taller. I would allow for some repackaging, but most of the stuff had to be bought as is on the shelf. Speaking of which, everything should be shelf stable, at least for an overnighter. I had to get everything at a grocery store, but we'll get to that in just a moment. And finally, the reality rules in effect. So I went to my local grocery store, and I should mention, this is a pretty extraordinary store. To give you an idea how extraordinary, they have three aisles of nothing but vegan, organic, and natural foods. And since that's where I was looking for stuff, because that's the size of it, yeah, I spent more than necessary. And my choices? Here's the pile. It easily fits into a small trunk bag, and it has 2,900 calories, which is right on the average for a first strike ration. So, what's in it? I'm leaving in the morning, so my first meal is going to be lunch, and that's going to be a tortilla with a single serving peanut butter and some honey, and a Snickers bar for dessert. Dinner is going to be rather opulent, flatbread crackers with hummus, mango chipotle salmon, and a protein bar before bed. Breakfast is a relatively light, it's going to be an oat bar, three-year-aged three cheddar, and bacon jerky bars. Uh, between meals I've got several bars, gels, jerkies, a bag of trail mix, similar to the first strike ration, but this is just kind of tailored for athletics. If you want the full list, I'll put that in the description, but some of the things I just couldn't help myself but try for the first time. I mean, I mean kick-ass meat snacks? Epic bacon? A peanut butter company with a trash pan on the label? Of course I'm going to try these things! Other things like Bobo's Oat Bars, Cliff Bars, and Gels, and Honey Singers, those are absolute staples in my normal cycling routine, so I know how my body's going to react to those. And I should also mention my caffeine option. Instead of going with the gum, I'm using Noon Electrolyte Tabs. And for transparency's sake, I am a brand ambassador for Noon, but even if I weren't, this would be my go-to drink choice anyway. Low carb, very shelf stable, great for travel. And the Cherry Limeade also packs 40 milligrams of caffeine per tab, so filling my tall water bottle is like a really strong cup of coffee. So with everything loosely packed into my panniers, I headed off to Harrington State Beach Park for another overnighter. Now, unlike the last time, I'm not going to bore you with all the details of the trip, because obviously you're here for the DIY for a strike ration, and, um, well? Vanilla cough syrup. Just how I remember it. Yeah, that's why I don't buy these things anymore. Ugh. Ugh. It's honey and peanut butter. How bad can it possibly be? It's not that bad though. I like it. Hmm. Really good, but once again, no surprises. tastes like chicken. It's hummus, it's crackers, it's salmon, and it's a chocolate bar. No surprises. Yep, nothing surprising. And the night was actually fairly pleasant, actually having the correct gear for a change. But then come morning, and I decided to make a call. It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning, and I am now invoking the reality rule. This McDonald's was less than a mile away from the campground, and it's right next to a gas station that I could have bought even more supplies if I needed to. And this is the reality rule. Reality is that unless you go way far out of your way to do so, you're almost always within striking distance of a McRestaurant. In fact, on the way home, I ran smack dab into the Port Fish Day Parade, and if I wanted to, I could have stayed right there for the world's largest fish fry or any number of local food vendors. Yeah, the reality rule. Most of us are not going to need to survive on a 24-hour ration pack, even when you're doing 60-mile-a-day massive bike rides. So... Can it be done? Well, yeah, you can pretty much buy a First Strike ration in its components at a good grocery store. What you can't get, you can probably fake it with other off-of-rack components, but do you need to? Of course not. For most of us, you're always within that range, and I'm willing to put money on a lack of a zombie apocalypse anytime soon. But I did find the exercise of putting this together very interesting and insightful, and it's going to help me on my big epic ride coming up. But I also temper that with the reality that 
I really don't need to do it. 